Well, uh, extremely proud of the guys. Um, you know, I thought they just played really well tonight. We did a really good job on the backboard. You know, I thought um, um, what we did on the backboard was special. And then we, we cut down our turnovers. And when our turnovers are, you know, 12 or fewer, um, we play at a whole different level because it keeps us out of transition defense uh, to where we're not just giving up easy things. Um, and it gives us more shots on goal, you know, and getting 78 shots up and uh, we're going to make more than we're going to miss with this team. So I um, thought we did a really good job, you know, and to, to get beat 19 to 8 at the free throw line in makes 27 out of 8, 27 to 8 on attempts uh, and still win the way we want. I'm just awfully proud of the guys. Questions? You guys had uh, five separate stretches in the first half where you held USC to three straight trips without scoring. How much ground has your defense gained in your mind since the first time you played them? Well, we've just talked about um, really since the SC game, and, and I, I did. I, I, there were not excuses. I just thought the time we got to the Arizona game at home uh, and the SC game on the road, um, our guys were a little mentally, I think, more than anything, mentally tired. And... We went into a bye week after that, and we've had since had another bye week going into this game. So we've had two bye weeks um, where we've been able to get a little bit of rest and then really work on some things that we needed to work on, uh, whether that be offensive execution or at the defensive end. And in these five games, um, we're 5-0 and in February since that break, uh, our defense has made great strides. Um, our efficiency is much, much better. Um, they're just very focused. Um, you know, we're, we won a lot of games early uh, by running away and scoring 100 points. Uh, and then when you lose a couple, I think it gets guys' attention of if we're going to play and try to win at the highest level. Um, we don't have to be a perfect defense, but we do have to be better. And I think um, over the last two and a half to three weeks, we've really improved. Coach, a follow-up on, on that question. What has changed with the defense? And was there a focus on it? Did you feel that uh, th this yeah, was part I think of the game that had to improve? Yeah, because I think this is, a, this is a scoring group. I mean, this group just, uh, they, they enjoy scoring. They enjoy sharing it. You know, 23 and 10. I mean, this is, we've had more 23 and 10s than we have, you know, anything else during the year. I mean, we, our assist turnover ratio for a team is over 2 to 1. That's phenomenal. So it's who they are. It's their identity. And we won a lot of games, even beating Kentucky at Kentucky. I think we scored in the 90s. Um, we've been the number one efficient offense by a lot now. I mean, it's not even close right now when you look at offensive efficiency. Um, so that's what their identity is. But I think it took a home loss to Arizona and a road loss at USC to really grab the guy's attention because it is a group that wants to play at a high level. Um, they want to make – a run at the turn, um, at not just the conference, but the, the conference race, but the conference tournament, postseason play. They want to play, and they they want to play for a long time, and they know that their defense has got to continue to improve. I don't think it's ever been as crazy as people have said, uh, just because that's our identity. We're not scoring in the 50s. We're not uh, – we're not we'll, – we'll take a lot of shots off zero to one pass, and that's fine with me because we got a lot of guys that can shoot the ball as long as they're good shots. But I just think that their focus, our stance, our activity, uh, the positioning that we're getting into, it's little things that the guys are doing now. I don't know what our deflections were yet, but we're getting, we're getting more deflections because our hands are up and we're in a stance. And I would say in November and December, we weren't the best at getting in a stance and staying in a stance, and we're doing a much better job of doing that now. Well, we've been on the same page all year. You know, we're 24 and 3. So these guys haven't been on a different page. This is, I've said it all along, this is a special group of guys. They're high character guys. I think it's just um, you continue to emphasize things, but different things sink in at different times of the season. And when you're winning, we want all 13 non conference games. So I can sit in there and talk like so I'm blue in the face about we got to get better defensively, but they're sitting there looking at me. Yeah, we get it. We're 13 and 0, coach. Um, you know, we even lose our first road first road game in conference, but it's a last second shot at Oregon, so it doesn't really sink into them that that was defense. Because if you look at that play, it was defended very well. He made a great shot. 
So I just think it took back-to-back losses to try to – doesn't mean we're perfect. doesn't mean we're not going to have games where we have some lapses. But we've had five games here in a row where our offensive efficiency has stayed at a high level and our defensive efficiency has gotten a lot better. Um, Coach, what allowed you guys to handle their zone defense so much better than uh, back in well, January? We, well, one, we didn't turn the ball over. Um, at SC, we turned the ball over, I think, 17 times. And if our notes were right, 14 of the 17 were live ball turnovers. You know, if you're going to turn the ball over, throw it in the stands, uh, travel, uh, offensive foul, uh, try to make a post feed that goes out of bounds. Those are good dead ball turnovers. Um, when all of a sudden you're just giving it to them like we did um, three weeks ago, then they get out and run. And transition points were a lot different tonight. And I think a lot of that had to do with we took care of the basketball and we were dominant on the backboard. And those were two areas that I didn't think we were very good in game one. Coach, a few minutes left in the first half. It was a five-point game. You guys go on that quick little 6-0 spurt. TJ had a dunk. Bryce hit a three. You were out near the logo giving guys high fives. When, when you have your team respond like that, especially at the end of half when it's so important, what feeling does that give you as a coach? Well, it's just fun, and I'm having fun. I've had fun all year with this team. Uh, they're a joy to coach in practice, and I want them having fun. At times, they're a quiet group, and we talked about that at halftime. You know, I talked to them at halftime about it, that, you know, we've been talking to you about stance and talking uh, on defense since Australia. You know, that, that was stuff we've been talking about for a long time. Um, the stance is making progress. The talking still has a lot of growth uh, yet uh, because we got some guys that just have a quiet demeanor. But the more we can talk and communicate, the better we, we are. And we're so good in transition. I mean, we're, we're, uh, I've been doing this 26 years, and I, I've never had a team uh, that is so fast and so efficient in transition. And when we're allowed to get stops, we're allowed to get turnovers. Um, and SC didn't turn the ball over a lot tonight. I just thought we got key stops. And we run so well. Our bigs run, our guards run. They can all shoot it, dribble it. Um, and they all pass it well. So when we get an open floor, we're pretty good. So if we can continue to work at that defensive end and get stops, it, that helps our offense get even more efficient. You talked about uh, February setting up March. You guys are 5-0 and now and playing some of your best basketball. Uh, how, do you, how do you feel that it is setting up? I know you still have a ways to go. Well, we're healthy. Um, we're very healthy right now, and we got we got day off tomorrow. And I like what we're doing in practices. Our practices have been much shorter. Um, we literally went for 50 minutes yesterday. Uh, our shoot around this morning was 20 minutes. Um, we just want to keep them fresh, um, trying to really be focused in what we want to do with our emphasis, both defensively and offensively, and and get them out. Uh, spend a little bit more time in the film room. Um, but it was good having this bye week, and our guys have known. And, they, and that's again, that's a credit to them because a lot of, I think, players don't take advantage of their bye weeks, and this team's done that. They've gotten rest. Um, they stay off their feet. They, they don't mess around. They, they, they do what they're supposed to do, and they do the right things. Uh, and because of that, I think we're, we're pretty fresh right now. And now we've got two weeks left in the regular season, and then we got a conference tournament, uh, and then postseason starts. So – uh, there's no more no more breaks, and but I like I like going into the last two weeks of the regular season where we're at right now because we're playing much better now uh, than what we were playing even a month ago, and we've had very few lapses as this season has unfolded. Uh, but I like how our guys are gaining some momentum. Um, in terms of attacking the zone, you'd said uh, last time how the issue wasn't getting the ball in the middle. How do you feel you guys did uh, in that? Well, I thought we got the ball in the middle well, but also thought we drove gaps. Um, we played way too passive in game one. Uh, I thought our guards stayed out about 35 feet from the basket. Uh, and they're a long athletic team. So if you allow them to press up on you, uh, then I think that favors them. And that happened in game one today. Uh, that didn't happen. We attacked. We went downhill at them. Uh, we got the ball to the paint either by dribbling it or by passing it. Uh, we looked inside out. Um, and we were more accustomed to doing what we normally do, five, six guys in double figures again, uh, sharing it the way we did. But I think the big part of our offense is not turning the ball over. When, uh, and we've done that most of the year. But at the SC game, that was a game we did not, we did not value the ball. We turned it over too much. Yeah, Steve, how rewarding is, is it that – since the last time you played, 
been so much growth, almost so much learning from this, this team? Well, we talked about it going into that. It's not easy when you've come off a home loss to Arizona and then a road loss to uh, uh, the rival SC, NC rival SC. Uh, that's not easy when now you're going into that bye week and you got to go to the Washingtons and you're trying to tell the guys, hey, we got to get rest. Uh, mentally, you got to shut it down. Physically, you got to shut it down a little bit. We're fine. Uh, we don't like losing those two games, but um, we just look tired. You know, we look tired defensively, and we look tired offensively for the first time. And I think um, I'd, I'd have to do the, the math, but our offense the last five games, we're scoring the ball again uh, like we were early in the season, scoring at a high level. Uh, the difference is we're, we're defending. This is uh, – Another double fi double figure win. I think only um, only Oregon was not in that five game stretch. So uh, we're doing some things that we were doing in November and December. Just I think doing it more effectively. Uh, we're healthy. November December we had guys out. Um, now we got the the full eight guys that have been playing, and, and I think the the bench is playing well. I mean Aaron's been tremendous all year, but I think Ek and GG are really starting to get comfortable with their roles, and that really helps us when we can go to the bench and not lose anything. USC had won four straight in, in this rivalry. Is it more gratifying to you to win a game in the way you did tonight? No, I mean, I was asked that. Uh, Pac-12 Network's asked me that before about, you know, how they would won the last four. And, you know, if we talk about past, well, we had won five in a row in the past as well. So, it's to me, it's not about the past. It, it is about this year. Three weeks ago, we lost. What happened last year? Um, we weren't near the team we were uh, last year that we are this year. Um, and we talked about that. So it's all about this year. Now, the first game we didn't play well, and they did play well. So you, you got to give them credit. I thought they turned us over, uh, and they defended better. Today, we didn't turn the ball over. We dominated the backboard, and uh, we ran away because of, of being very efficient at what we do. So now it's 1-1. Who knows if we'll um, get another chance in the conference tournament. We'll have to wait and see. Can you talk about Lonzo's um, decision making and just how exceptional it is for him at some of the more subtle points of the game? Well, he's been great, and I think the things were that I think he's really grown is defensively. His decision making's been on point since day one around here. I mean, uh, he's always been that. Um, you're looking at one of the best assist guys in the country, uh, if not the best assist in the country. And uh, as far as running the show, nobody does it better than Lonzo. So. That's been pretty consistent. What I've seen over the last three weeks is now it's becoming contagious defensively. And he starts all the contagious habits. Uh, we start sharing the ball at a high level because your point guard in Zoe does that. Uh, the shot selections we get, the transition threes that we get. Uh, you know, it would, you'd have to do the math, but I think we talked about it before the season. Uh, Bryce and Isaac, I think, combined for less than 10 transition three attempts all last year all last year and they've had they've combined for 10 transition attempts in a game before uh this in this year so it's just a different team so he's the decision making he's been terrific but now what i'm seeing is becoming contagious is what he's doing defensively um he's getting steals he's getting deflections uh he's the point that always starts our defense thought he did a pretty good job tonight on mclaughlin of not letting one of i think their main guys get going um you know mclaughlin has you know, he's five assists, nine points. I just thought we did a really good job on him. And then I think that's become contagious with the rest of our guys. Yeah, Steve, after Bryce made that uh, layup and got fouled, he actually snarled. I mean, he made like a Kobe Bryant face. I, ever, like it when he's, I like it when he snarls. <laughs> I wish he would snarl in warm-ups. <laughs> have you ever um, seen that before? Yeah, I have. You see that face, you know, Tanya and I, we usually watch um, – because it is a unique situation. You know, it's a, it's a coach's kid. I was a coach's kid, and I can remember um, when I was a player, we, you weren't allowed to practice in high school on Sundays. So Sundays was always the day where, you know, my dad would take his hat off and be dad instead of coach, and we'd watch film together. You know, back in that day, film was a little bit different. Um, it was loud. It was slow. Uh, you can get through it a little bit quicker today. Um, so that's, you know, like Tanya and I do that late at night, either tonight or tomorrow, uh, and I get to be dad, and we talk about that all the time. He's got that look. He's got that look. Uh, and we've seen it in high school. We've seen it in AAU. And when he gets that, he, I think, just goes to another level toughness-wise. And uh, he got that tonight, and we needed it. And he had, we had two key stretches. He was obviously a part of a big stretch in the second half. Um, 
But I think that's what we talk about, the contagiousness of this team and what Lonzo's meant to this team. We had two big runs, one in the first half, kind of towards the end of the first half, and one in the second half, and Lonzo was out. Uh, that's the growth of this team. Uh, and that's, again, uh, how Lonzo has made everybody so much better. Uh, but, yeah, I, I like it when he gets that look. I like it when a lot of those guys start snarling and, and getting a little bit meaner and nastier. I, I do like that. How much do you think the, the particularly wide margin and the killer instinct shown there at the end by your guys had to do with just how uncharacteristic – yeah, I, you know, I think, I mean, we may be leading the league in margin of victory now. Um, you know, so our guys have done that uh, pretty consistently, as I mentioned a minute ago, especially in this five-game win streak. I think only Oregon uh, was within 10 in the last five. I might be wrong on that, but we've played at a very high level. We're not just playing good basketball. We've been playing very good basketball, and, and you want to be doing that in February. And now the trick is we gotta we got to go to the road, and now we got to go to the Arizonas and um, – Arizona State plays four guards, sometimes five guards, so they're a unique system. And then you're going to the leader in Arizona, which is a very, very difficult place to play. So it's good that we're playing good basketball going back on the road for our last road trip. Thank you. Appreciate it.